And I'm gonna tell you this right now, the dudes is not, not happy. Not happy whatsoever. We might have to look into uh, upgrading our tractor uh, because this is, as much as I wanna buy another field to continue our empire growth, speaking of our fields there we are over there to the left if you can see it um this tractor might <laughs> this might be the limit for the dudes we might have gone as far as we can with oh good morning good afternoon good evening it's me jimmy back again with some more colonia vintage survival playthrough and today well today is going to be a big day for more contracts we have all three fields planted with soybean. We're going to make an absolute, just an, um, a bunch of money when it comes to soybean. So I'm looking forward to that. But as you know, we have to wait for everything to grow. So we are in March. This is year two, which it's only been a few months because we started in August. But quick recap, we have finished... Uh, purchasing our third field that was back in February so we now have three fields going all at the same time so we're excited to be able to uh, get three things going at once uh, today's plan is just to stack up our money I do need to look into buying maybe a fertilizer spreader that way we can spread uh, lime and, and fertilizer if we want to do contracts and things like that because the lime my room we have is kind of terrible but that's okay we'll make some money i do want to work towards getting a fourth field ready um that's another plan of mine if this uh looks familiar to you we did this field we harvested this field back in february to make the rest of our money to be able to purchase other field so I'm excited uh, to get onto this. So let's go ahead. Uh, like I said, this is our first contract in the morning. It's super early. It's 649. Uh, let's go ahead and finish cultivating this field. Get this fit flipped. Flipped. Let's try this again. Flipped. And uh, we will see how much money. I think this contract's worth like 2200 bucks, which is $2,200 more than we had. So let's go ahead and finish cultivating this field.
We have finished field 88, and uh, Goja, Goja has granted a 30% uh, price decrease. If we plan on purchasing this field in the future, and well, that's super exciting because, you know, we want to buy the. We gotta we'll save real quick. We definitely want to buy all this over here. You know, this is ours. This is what we own. But hey, what if we take over the whole town? um that's field 88 so that is absolutely completed we will collect our money for that that's 2500 dollars added to our bank account i want to go over to our farm because i want to pick up the little bitty trailer that we've had for a long time it has barely any kind of capacity to it at all this road is very bumpy i'm, I'm afraid i'm a afraid I'm gonna flip over uh but we are at $3,519 which is super exciting because that's up from 900 bucks that we had to start the month so I would like to get back over to the farm and uh pick up our trailer and take it to the store because I definitely want to get that sold because I think I'm gonna do a harvest contract but I don't want to lose any money and our harvester is pretty good you know it'll get the job done for the smaller job so Let's ride over there. I'm going to go pick up the the uh, the cart, the grain cart, and I will meet you over the store and see what we can purchase. Oh, while we're at it, uh, while we were coming to pick up the trailer, forgot we could sell some of this, uh, this honey while we're here. So we will take one last little trip in our little trailer. We'll stick them in here. We have to go to Targ. I don't know where that's at, so we will pull up the map. Let's see, where is Targ at? Targ, um, it's Carpentry, PGR, Lime, let's see, Osada, Vehicle Shop. Where's Targ at? Where is Targ located? Grain Mill, those are Beehive, those are mine. Farmhouse, Targ. Okay, so Targ is right, right up the road. So let's jump in our uh, jump in our tractor, drop jump in the dutes, and uh, let's make our way over to Targ. It's right down the right down the road from us. Didn't know it was right here. Let's see how much money we can get for the honey we have. Oh, looks like oh, it's a little art. Is it the agricultural fair? Okay. All right. Well, I guess I'll. Well, I don't want to drive in here because uh, well. Hopefully I won't run anybody. Excuse me. Sorry. Got a, uh, a wagon load of honey. She's just walking in circles. They just walking in circles. There we go. And 900 bucks for our honey. Not too bad. That's an extra 900 bucks. We should be able to sell this little cart right here. We'll clean it up and uh, try to get our money back. It's it, it it was okay. It's taken. I mean, think about it. When we first started here, and we first got our farm here in Colonia, we uh, we used it. We used it a lot to transport our trees from our property to make a few dollars to purchase a few things. So it's it's done its job. We can't complain. I think I forget. Let's see. We're gonna hang a right right here because I feel like we always get confused on where to go up that road. So we're gonna go up here right here did we go the wrong way again because those are our fields oh my goodness i'm turned around again all right i'll meet you at the store <laughs> good lord all right we uh we sold it for a thousand dollar thousand forty not bad let's go in here and find us a trailer with just a little bit bigger capacity we have fifty four hundred dollars i don't want to spend all of it right now because i know we still need to get a fertilizer spreader Let's see, that's got a 3,500, but it's only got 1.6 meters cubed. Let's see what else we have for our price tag. Okay, so that's not, that starts at $3,300. That's a capacity of 5,500. 
So if we go at 82, that puts us at 33.43. Oh, okay, wait a second. So it doesn't cost us to go in capa up into capacity. So we can get 11,400 liter capacity for the same price. I don't think we want to spend any other money to modify that, but we'll purchase this. Now we, we definitely have way more capacity than we had before. So we'll jump in the dudes, and what we're gonna do, I will go ahead and start another, another um, contract. I think I'm gonna start a harvesting contract. I think we're harvesting wheat down in one of the other places that we uh, we fertilized way a long time ago, a long time ago. Uh, let's go ahead and get over there. Look how big this is <laughs> compared to our tractor. Oh, this is gonna be amazing. And I think the dudes has enough power to, to handle all this, so. I will meet you over, I believe it's field uh, 55, and we'll get started on some uh, some harvesting. We love to harvest. All right, this, uh, this field's not too big, so this shouldn't really take us too long. I think we can get it done pretty quickly. So, uh, gotta unfold first. We got our grain cart, we got our tractor, and we got our harvester. It's time to get this field harvested here we go is not not happy not happy whatsoever we might have to look into uh upgrading our tractor uh because this is as much as i want to buy another field to continue our empire growth speaking of our fields there we are over there to the left if you can see it um this tractor might <laughs> this might be the limit for the dudes we might have gone as far as we can with oh nothing to see there nothing happened just uh pretend you didn't see that yeah this uh this is a little bit too much weight for uh and i'm not even maxed out on the cart yet so we might might just have to find something with more than 85 horsepower um as much as i want to keep buying fields so, whoa 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 where did you come from sir tractor here first anyway good lord people are rude we have uh just a little bit to go like i said we're almost done uh harvesting our field i just wanted to dump this off real quick go ahead and unload this dump that out we're 70 percent complete on our job so far so let's go ahead and uh make our way 
back over there to the farm 65 percent transport so the next grain cart full of wheat is where we will be able to complete the contract so let's go ahead and oh my god the dudes i never thought i'd be upset with the dudes but the dudes might have seen its last days here in oh dear oh god We have officially finished harvesting this field. Not too bad. Only a few hours worth of work, but it'll pay off. It'll pay off. Let's go ahead and finish dumping uh, the rest of this wheat in the grain cart. That way we can take it over to uh, the, the wheat depot, the grain depot. I think that might be, we'll have to check to see any more contracts that maybe we can do like pretty quickly. It's already one o'clock, almost two o'clock in the afternoon. We still gotta get all our stuff uh, back over to the farm. So let's go ahead and get this over to the grain silo and get the contract completed so we can re-up our money after this purchase of this beautiful cart that's just way too much, way too too heavy for the dudes. So I'll meet you over there. All right, here we are. Whoa, there's that old lady from earlier. I think she's lost. Might need to get her some help. All right, let's go ahead and dump the rest of this. Too easy. There we go. And we should be done with this. Yep. Contract on 85 with a uh, $1,300 harvest income. And now Piotr will give us a 20% discount for future field purchases. So we're making friends. So contracts are just more than just money. Contracts are for us to make friends so we could buy their property at a cheaper rate and kick them out of Colonia. Just kidding, that's rude. So let's go ahead and stop here. We will complete this, collect, and another $2,239 added to our bank account. Hopefully this red van didn't even stop at the stop sign. Didn't even stop at the stop sign. Abs okay, I'm stuck on the tree. Come on. Come on, sir. What's wrong with you? Driving on people's fields? I feel terrible. All right, let's go ahead and uh, recollect all of our stuff. Whoa, I ran a stop sign too. I'm just as bad as Red Van Man. Let's go ahead and collect everything we had. We'll bring our harvester back to the farm. That guy's not got a harness on. Hmm. I might start collecting collectibles if I see them. I'm not going to go hunt for them, but if I see them, I might pick them up because why not? You know, why not? We like collectibles, but here's our brand new grain cart. Well, brand new to me here at the farm. And then uh, let's see. Uh, this is our soybeans. 98% yield bonus. We are looking good. One, two, and three full of beautiful delicious soybeans ready to grow um i think that's enough contracts for march i don't mind just doing two unless we're like absolutely close to purchasing something else but for right now we're not close to buying another field just yet this is going to be my next purchase is the sunflowers uh this will be mine also i will own this this is next but anyway thank you so much for watching please leave a like drop a comment about what your favorite part of this uh, this series has been. Um, just a quick uh, recap. We are winding down a few other of our series. The Almond Brothers series. 
uh, is being shelved for right now. Um, Millionaire Milkman has become, is winding down its first season. So Colonia, this one, Vintage Survival, and Comsden Farms are going to be our two main um, playthroughs we have on the channel. So uh, looking forward to more videos of those of this one and Comsden Farms. Uh, but thank you so much for the community members that we have right there on the screen. If you see their social tag, either Twitch, YouTube, please look them up. Please give them a follow. They've been absolutely amazing from the transition from Twitch to YouTube. Thank you so much. And be sure to sub to the channel. Where we got some, I'm very excited about the growth on the channel. You all have been absolutely amazing. But thank you again for watching. Have a good evening and take care of yourself. I'll be.